Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Got a couple of clowns here that I've done before. Uh, you're, you might remember them in videos I've done. We've got Big G when he got his cherry popped. Uh, this is a little of him and and the other guy that uh, in New Mexico, the cops wore him out. He was chasing the cops all over the place and they kept taking off on him. Well, there's a couple updates on what they've been up to lately. It's pretty hilarious. Anyway, check it out. Um, I would like to speak to your commanding officer in the uh, substation right now. Yeah. Not a problem again. Like I said, I don't want to speak to a sergeant, um, lieutenant, or higher. Um, it's against the officer making a racial uh, slur towards uh, some people at, uh, a couple nights ago, so I definitely want to speak to somebody higher in rank. Not a problem, thank you. Uh, I'm not going to give my name at the moment because I'm going to make a formal complaint um, and try to get it to go to IA, so I don't feel comfortable right now I'm giving my name. Well, I'm not going to give you guys a complaint for it until I speak to the commander. Well, I'll fill it out. I'm more than happy to fill it out, but I'm not going to give you the form until I speak to the commander. Yeah, this is, this is that guy that walked around the Albuquerque uh closed office building there and the cops kept moving on him and he must have he must have logged in about 15 miles that day trying to catch up to a cop car and he never did oh this guy's an idiot it's right there oh is that the complaint form it should be oh okay the, uh, i don't believe you guys have any forms out here i think you just have the pamphlet not a problem No, I didn't, it wasn't it wasn't an incident. It was just the fact that we were recording, and she decided to use a racial slur towards why we were recording. Um, so, uh, the, 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 the number. Ask you, are you live streaming or are you? No, uh, local. Um, the, the the officer's name was Saul. S A U L is the officer's yeah, name. Yeah, he needs the man number to pull up the name. That'll be the badge number. Oh, badge number. Uh, I'd, I'd have to pull up my stream to, to, to get it again. Okay. I'll just put down the name here for a second, and then we'll, well I'm, I'm streaming right now, so um, I'll pull, put down the name, and then we'll get the number that way. Hello? Hi. How you doing, officer? Good. How are you, sir? Uh, not too happy. Okay. What can I do for you today? First of all, what's your name? Uh, I'm not going to give my name at the moment. Okay. Um, what can I do for you then? So what I would like done, um, we are filling out the uh, police oversight committee. Okay. We're, we're making a formal complaint. Good. Good. Um, so so on the September or April third at about about two o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. um, we were out. We were doing a story on the incidents that were going downtown. Okay. And um, as we're walking around, one of your officers, she looked pretty young, decided to make a comment. Up on the term of their recording because they have the white male superiority and they think they can do it. Okay. That is not okay and it's not acceptable and I, okay. would, like to, I would like to file a formal complaint and okay. go through that procedure. Okay. Do you need male white superiority is hate speech? I did not know that. I suppose it's probably not appropriate. I don't know. Who cares? What a, what a fucking punk this guy is, huh? Jesus Christ. What a crybaby. Tries to be a tough guy, but he's a crybaby. Said the reason why you're filming me is because I'm a because I'm a person oh, of color, yeah. a person of color, and, and I'm a woman. I'm like, no, it's, yeah, a, it's because you're bad. At the first point of contact, at the first point of contact that she made, because we were we were in the alleyway filming them, mm. and the first point of contact that the officer made, she made the comment of that we're we're causing it hard on her. We're be, he was being a little a little up there, well, that, that um, but her bit. comment to him was, I don't understand why you're being disrespectful to me. I, just because I'm a female and I'm a minority it doesn't mm. give you the right. Okay, and so. That that's also a basis of our complaints as well. Okay. All right, that's too much airtime for this idiot. Yeah, they were they were profiling her for sure. They were following her around, harassing her like they do because they're First Amendment audits, and that that's all they know how to do. They have to create some kind of a situation uh, so they can interact with the police. So they start to following them around, calling them names, screaming and shouting. Like he said, well, my friend here, he was a little bit out there. Yeah, we know what that means idiot they're doing this just to make content it's the only reason they're filing a complaint just have some content to upload to his youtube channel because he's such a tough guy anyway let's move on to big g 
Just a real quick update, guys. Went to Hawkins County Court today. Um, they dropped the disturbing, and I took a plea for the criminal trespass, a uh, $10 fine, uh, and court costs. So, that's it. Now, I've had people contacting me from his area that know him personally, and they tell me that his family's deserted him, all of his friends have deserted him, uh, because he's starting to get really out there. He's, a, he's an oversized bully. He bullies people, that's what he does. People can't stand him. No one in the area that knows him can stand him. Anybody that's ran across him tries to avoid him because he's just a jerk. He's a bully, that's all he is. He goes around practicing being being a bully and uh, I can't divulge who, who's given me this information because they know he will retaliate against them. That's just the kind of guy he is. Anyway, yeah. Mr. Tough Guy here pled guilty. He took a plea. He was guilty. This was his cherry-popping first arrest. What a jerk. But he's going to give his family and his friends a second chance. And we're going to see that there in a little video he uploaded. Uh, offering an olive branch. Let's check it out. Okay, guys. <laughs> I've just got to get in on here this morning. And I can't help it. I've got to rant and rave. There's a couple of issues that's come up still. <laughs> And I just wanted to address them because this is just BS. Okay, first of all, my friends and family who are out there that might watch this, and you know me personally, not just, just all the people out there that I've went to school with, that I have worked with, that I have worked with their family members for years, I played football with some of you people. I went to school with some of you people. I graduated with some of you people. And some of my friends that have nothing to do with the sheriff's office, besides kiss their butt, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. If you do not stand up for me and my moral character... As a person, because I'm being dragged through the mud right now. And it's not right. All I have ever done is throw out a few curse words and you try to vilify me. Pretty strange way to uh, reach out an olive branch to your friends and your family. You're doing a great job. This is a classic uh, bullying. He's giving his friends and family an ultimatum right here in a roundabout kind of way. But yeah, this is a very disturbing behavior. Everything that was posted on Facebook, I dare you. I dare you to show me one of my comments that I curse on Facebook. Well, for starters, here's a sign that he had, he had uh, posted. He did a protest, F the bad cops. Nobody likes bad cops. You don't carry around a sign and go protest. He was the only one at the protest, too, by the way. Nobody showed up. That's why I lost the footage. Or use any kind of violence or initiate or or condone any kind of violence towards anybody I have never ever gotten on there and disrespected a fallen officer of any kind I don't condone it I won't have it on my channel and you're not going to try to use that against me I can't control the people that post stuff on there know more than you controlled your officer that day. He's not going to start crying, and he don't start crying. There's no crying in First Amendment Auditor there. Big G, big tough guy, went out and got your first arrest. You're so proud of yourself. Now you're having a little bit of a fit of a hostility there. There's some pent-up anger in there. Good Lord, what's going to happen when all that comes out, son? Oh, man, this guy is a piece of work. Everybody hates you, Big G. Get used to the fact. You're a bully. Yet I'm the one stepping up to apologize, sir. Me. The person whose family was slighted in this incident, sir. You know Sheriff Cassidy. I'm calling you out. Yeah, I see no threatening or hear no threatening behavior at all. I don't hear that at all. You're right, Big G. You're not making any threats, allegedly. And all my friends out there that's not going to back me, 
and it thinks I'm just being stupid because I've used profanity, well, I'm quitting the profanity. Didn't he already say he never used profanity in any of his uh, actions? Now he's saying he's going to quit profanity, so that means he must have been using it before, huh? He said, just don't even look over there. I'll tell you about it later. Flip me I off. I think he really knows what was bitch. up. So that you people won't try to vilify me anymore because of my mouth. And I'm telling you now, if my friends don't start backing me, then you're no longer my friends. I don't think that's going to be an issue with your quotation mark friends. Uh, they don't want anything to do with you anymore because you've turned into a raving lunatic. Anyway. Because of what kind of friend are you when a person is in need and you're not there? You're not there. Shame on you as a friend. Shame on you. <sighs> I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, Sheriff. If anything else happens to my family, in the slightest, it's on. I know for a fact. <laughs> I know for a fact one of your officer's wives. Okay? Because everybody wants to know. Everybody wants to see. So this right here is the call out. That's how I'm going to post this. It's going to be the title, The Call Out. Come on, let's go. I'm right here. Randy. Sit down before you get hurt. I'm calling you out. Is what it all comes out to. I'm calling you out for the last time. Well, there you have it. Big G uh, making his apologies, not threatening anyone, not making any kind of accusations or anything like that. The guy just started First Amendment auditing. And he's already been arrested once, and now he's having a meltdown. He's breaking down. We're seeing a psychotic uh, collapse in his in his brain matter, if he has any left. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a fantastic day now. Don't be an auditor.